confirmed tornado touched down in Wayne County during yesterday's severe weather. But did you ever wonder how the National Weather Service makes that determination? News Watch 16's Allie Gallo was with the National Weather Service experts today. She's in the Weather Center with more. Allie. Good evening, John and Julie. The National Weather Service out of Binghamton suspects an EF1 tornado in Wayne County, but the National Weather Service out of State College only found evidence of straight line winds in central Pennsylvania. Today, I followed around those meteorologists as they explained the difference in what they look for. When a tornado moves, um, you will see trees and power lines and stuff actually converge to a point. They will meet at a point. Uh, whereas if you have a high wind event, the, the damage tends to hit, be in one spot wider and spread out. The National Weather Service out of Binghamton has confirmed an EF1 tornado here near Waymart with wind speeds up to 110 miles per hour. Definite path where the trees kind of met at a point and kind of converged at that single point. We saw that definite path. But the confirmed tornado wasn't as evident as the damage may have appeared. For hours, meteorologists with the National Weather Service were only seeing damage produced by straight line winds. We don't see that here. We see more of the fanning out of the trees as the wind hits the ground from the thunderstorm. It's early in the assessment process, but meteorologists don't believe the tornado was on the ground for very long, a few hundred yards possibly. They will determine an exact path and width based on the pictures and data they bring back to the National Weather Service office in Binghamton. Seeing the data points overlaid on a map helps us make that final adjustment to the track. Although a tornado warning was never issued for this part of Wayne County, there was a severe thunderstorm storm warning that went into effect just after three Tuesday afternoon. You have to take all warnings seriously. The damage can be very similar to that produced by a tornado. Meteorologists say that if you're in either a severe thunderstorm or tornado warning to make sure you get to the lowest level of the building, surround yourself with as many walls as possible and cover your head. As we enter thunderstorm season to have a plan, know what you're going to do in case bad weather happens. And meteorologists with the National Weather Service say it will take them about a day or so to confirm that path, how long the tornado was on the ground, and its width. Allie Gallo, Newswatch 16, reporting live in the Weather Center. I've always wondered that, Allie, so thanks for answering that question there. Yeah, very interesting. And I, I